हेलो एंड नमस्कार सपनों के पंख में आप सबका स्वागत है वेलकम बैक टू दिस एपिसोड ऑफ व्हेन ड्रीम्स गेट विंग्स दोज ऑफ यू हु हैव वॉच्ड आर प्रीवियस टू एपिसोड्स ऑफ दिस सेक्शन यू वुड नो दैट वी आर टॉकिंग टू दिस झारखंड गर्ल हु हैज कम टू लंडन स्कूल ऑफ इकोनॉमिक्स एज अ शेवनिंग स्कॉलर रीका वी हैव हर्ड अबाउट हर हिस्ट्री ऑफ हाउ शी हैज ट्रेवल्ड फ्रॉम लातेहाल इन झारखंड टू लंडन वी हैव हर्ड अबाउट हर स्ट्रगल्स of how she was rejected from a shevening scholarship and how she has managed to get it the second time and in this section today we will be talking to a student we have connected on phone with a student from guwahati university her name is supriya barua she is a student of master she is doing her final year masters degree in women studies and um, supriya would be asking a few questions to rika uh, even before we go and ask supriya to ask her question i would like to uh ask her about her subject because women studies uh 30 saal pehle 20 saal pehle jab hum log graduation kar rahe the tab i don't know i i haven't heard about something called women studies but i'm sure this is a very compelling subject which has lot of potential so jo bhi aaj students hamare ye karyakram dekh rahe hain jo bhi um प्रोफेसर्स हमारे ये कार्यक्रम देख रहे हैं जो भी पेरेंट्स देख रहे हैं आपके बच्चे भी वुमेन स्टडीज के बारे में आज जान सकते हैं सुप्रिया से पूछते हैं सुप्रिया फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वेलकम टू द शो थैंक यू सो मच इट्स लेट इवनिंग फॉर यू इन इंडिया थैंक्स फॉर जॉइनिंग फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन सुप्रिया टू यू इवन बिफोर यू आज द क्वेश्चन टू रिका टेल अस समथिंग ब्रीफली अबाउट दिस सब्जेक्ट वुमेन स्टडीज सुप्रिया गुड इवनिंग सर इट्स रियली ऑनर टू बी पार्ट ऑफ दिस शो so as you have asked women studies is basically a multidisciplinary subject and a person can pursue women studies irrespective of his or her uh, stream or subject that he or she has taken up during uh, their graduation time and talking about its scope uh, it is vastly uh, spread across the public and private sectors uh, and its areas are based towards the development sectors and social welfare arenas including the child and women development sectors as well so this was all about women studies When you said multidisciplinary supriya do you mean that anyone from any stream like science arts commerce can also uh, do their masters in women studies Yes sir so basically uh, a few years ago it was only uh, restricted to only arts subject so people belonging to only arts were uh, the students who used to take up women studies but now it has been opened as a multidisciplinary subject so students belonging to even science and commerce streams can take up women studies So it has been a multidisciplinary subject as of now uh, in Guwahati University. That's very interesting. Thank you, Supriya, for that update. So, Supriya, uh, I have Rika with me. We are at the London School of Economics campus, and uh, you had one question for her. Go for it, Rika. Hi, Supriya. Hello, Rika. Uh, so, yeah, uh, I have uh, really heard about your story. It's really inspiring, and uh, as you already know, I'm a women's studies student, and I have heard about the myths and perception based on how a woman's career is shaped, especially when she completes her masters. Uh, she's asked to get married, and even uh, her parents make her stop. Uh, to continue her career or especially in her education field so uh, you do have come across this kind of challenges so i would basically uh, like to know from you if you have come across this kind of challenges or how you have overcome it and also your advice to our youngsters especially how to overcome these challenges to pave our paths uh, to be successful in life so this is my question to you rika rika even before she you you answer i think a very pertinent question hamare samaj mein aaj bhi shayad ladkiyon ke liye is tarah ki ek matlab lookout hai jiske wajah se shayad 25 saal ho gaye apne masters kar liye ab kitna padhai karni hai shaadi kar lo right a very interesting question supriya thanks for asking that rika i would look forward to your answer Uh, so supriya i very much agree with your question that uh, you know being a woman you have to face a lot of challenges in the society um, especially with me when i was uh, you know uh, i completed my masters once and then you know i was looking for a uh, job and then my parents was uh, like behaving similarly like uh, any other girl and they were like you don't have to go outside for jobs and you know uh, they were basically uh, forcing me for the government 
management job because that is the uh, that is one job where uh, parents uh, see it as a secure job and nine to five it is like convenient for every girl and then uh, you don't have to struggle outside you don't uh, have to go out um, of the city you have to, well, you can stay with your family your uh, parents so uh, that kind of things uh, were there with me as well but when after my masters uh, i came out and then i uh, you know established myself as a individual and independent person uh, they started believing in me and uh, maybe they uh, like understood that i can manage everything by myself and then uh, uh, later on they started believing, believing in me and then uh, that was uh, later on they started supporting me i would say uh, so yeah but uh, still uh, at some point of time like they uh, you know come with the question that okay when you are getting married you have to get married because uh, you know uh, you have uh, studied enough so that kind of questions and that kind of uh, compulsion still comes from uh, my parents as well but I think if you uh, if you have uh, you know bigger dream uh, if you are able to see your uh, you know dream in a, a, a certain distance then you have to work hard for that particular thing that's what I did I convinced my parents I said that after marriage also I don't want to settle for something uh, you know less uh, I mean definitely I know that I have that potential and then I can go uh, you know uh, beyond that uh, point and beyond certain point and then um, if your dreams are really big then you can uh, work hard on that part and then you can achieve it so uh, if you ask me for the suggestion for the youngsters then definitely I would say that uh, um, uh, you should uh, dream big and then you should work hard on that particular uh, area and then definitely you will be able to achieve it for sure. Supriya, does that answer your question? Yes, sir. So thank you so much, Rikadi, for this answer. And yes, it is really uh, nice talking to you. Supriya, thank you so much for joining our call. Um, and, and, and Rika, thanks for that answer. Jobhi parents yes karikram ko dekh rahe apne betiyon ko Rokie ka mat. Let them fly. It's today's, in, in today's world, in the 21st century's girl, ye sare ladkiya bohat dur tak ur sakte hain. Unko rokie ka mat. Or jin parents, whichever parents, whoever parents have allowed your girls to fly high, congratulations to you. You have done the right thing. Here is one lady who I'm talking to who have proved that, that adage, that cliche statement that we hear, hard work pays. It has actually paid. She considers herself as a mediocre, as an average student, but has worked hard towards whatever she has achieved so far. And, and it's all for you to see. Wonderful, inspirational story. Before we have to close today's episode, Rika, but then the, my last question to you, um, what now? You will go back to India, and I'm sure your experience of working in India and the rural areas, in the rural sectors, would give you a lot of experience working with the IITs and IIMs, if you, what you told me earlier gives you a lot of experience. How do you create a difference to the society after you go back? So after going back to uh, my country, I I have planned to join either uh, you know government organization or uh, multilateral organization who are actually um, policy in policy designing, and I would like to contribute there uh, because I have learned a lot of uh, you know uh, skills and then uh, the, uh, gain knowledge and experiences also from different uh, parts of uh, you know uh, countries, and uh, here I am I think uh, with uh, a lot of experience experiences I'm going back and then I would like to apply those in a policy designing part and definitely I'll be able to contribute more in that part. So I will be um, uh, working mostly with the government organizations or um, multilateral organizations for sure. And of course being a Shevening scholar give you that wide network of ex Shevening scholarship, the whole alumni plus uh, working and, and studying with um, you know um, your fellow students in London School of Economics from multiple countries gives you that network which you can fall back upon i'm sure that will also you know give you a lot of um, you know uh, trust and boost up your aspirations that you want to implement isn't it yes for sure uh, here i have met a huge network of uh, uh, shevening scholars and then uh, i mean i am uh, friends with them right now my colleagues are there apart from that like uh, other people who are uh, pursuing different subjects so i have met with them and i definitely know that whenever i need their help they will be there and then uh, like in future also if you are moving to other countries or uh, you are trying to bring in some uh, some of the uh, you know best practices from their 
higher countries, that will be, uh, you know, very much helpful for me. Any plans for further higher studies like PhD? Uh, as of now, uh, not, but maybe after a couple of years, I might think for the PhD. So before we close today and we say goodbye to Rika, um, generally Rika, um, this, this is called a gamocha from Assam and, and I, as you know I'm from Assam this is one of our traditional attire that we very proudly um, you know wear and use as well as we um, you know offer it to our guests so so this has been uh, specially ordered from Assam it's been it's 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 hand uh, it's handloom right it's done by weavers from Assam and I would like to you know uh, as a part of my gratitude and, and, and as part of the inspiration that I feel from after talking to you, this is just a token of appreciation to felicitate you, Rika. <laughs> Thank you so much for being a part of the show. It's been a pleasure, a privilege talking to you, Rika. And those of you who are watching all these three sections of Rika's interview, you would know that this Jharkhan girl from interior Jharkhan, Latehal, I'm told, it takes about six to seven hours of journey by road to reach that place, interior place, low, infra low in infrastructure, despite all those odds, at a time when she was having difficulty speaking in English, at a time when she was founding herself as an alien in her own state, moving to Ranchi made her feel, um, you know, she had complexities because there were people who spoke really good English, she couldn't, she broke all the barriers. She just flew on and on without a mentor, without a guide, how inspiring this can be. And all of you girls, and boys who are watching this, I'm sure you will draw a lot of inspiration from this story. If you want to connect with Rika, do write to us on a YouTube video and we'll ensure that Rika responds to all of them. Thank you so much. Sapno ke punk ke ugly episode mein aisa hi aur ek inspirational story leke aunga aur ek aise student se baat karunga jinhone who has shown that hard work pays, all barriers ko can be broken and if you have a dream and if you work towards it, nobody or nothing can stop you. Thanks for watching. This is Ritu Raj from London School of Economics campus in London wishing you a good night. Thank you very much. Sapna